Where, you may ask, do Gresley Rovers come from? Well, the answer can be found in a former mining village on the Derbyshire-Leicestershire border. Church Gresley, to be precise, right next door to Castle Gresley. It has a population of around 5,000, but in football terms, it suffers something of an identity problem. We do, really. Where's, where's Gresley? Uh, where's Swaddling Coat? We always say, people where we go to, they say, where are you from? We say Swaddling Coat, and they haven't a clue. But if we say Burton on Trent, and of course the bass, and yeah, we, uh, we get through to them then. The message has certainly got through to the locals. Everyone, it seems, is a Rovers fan. 300 of them turned up to watch a training session this week. 2,000 of them, with their paper hats, are making the 50 mile trek north to Crewe. All the supporters, uh, they're fantastic here, you know, fanatical, to be honest. You, you go down places like to Sittingbourne, you know, which is 240 miles away, here, and they're there, turning up, wait, waiting for you. you know, it's brilliant. Bob Aston is one of five survivors of Gresley's FA Vars final appearance at Wembley in 1991. PE teacher Steve Dolby was assistant manager that day. Now he's in full control. He's been preparing for his biggest managerial test on the school playing fields in nearby Stretton. The ambition at the start of the season was to get through to the first round and to play a league club and we've managed that so the players are going to be really highly motivated for the game and uh, I can't see any problem in motivating them. My job's done already getting them there and the day's just for the players now. Gresley's victory at Braintree in the last round included this goal from Andy Garner, a former player with Derby and Blackpool. His experience, along with that of another ex-professional, Graham Harvey, could be vital tomorrow. There's going to be a few nerves up there on Saturday, myself and, and Graham as well. Um, that'll never go away. It's going to be a big game for us as well. Um, if we can help the lads in any way, with our experience, then uh, that'll be a bonus. Yeah. They've waited 64 years to reach the first round of the FA Cup. By tomorrow night, Church Gresley might just have found its way onto the football map.